Okay, today I'm going to show you how to draw um, an acorn. So if I go here, here's an acorn, right? I can do a screen, like any picture. Basically, I'm going to teach you how to trace. You can, you can trace anything. You can trace. If you know how to trace, you can draw anything. So the secret here is to grab a screenshot of just the picture I want. So I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and then All Display, the little button above the six. And let's say I just grab this acorn right here. That's the one I want. Okay, and it says uh, it says the screen top. I can say show it in my folder, so I kind of know where it is. Um, so it's it looks like it's in my downloads. It's right there. Screenshot. Okay, so that's where I know where it is. I probably if I want to ever right click on that, I could rename it and call it Acorn, so that then I know what it's called. Okay, great. Then after I've got that picture saved, I've got the picture saved. Then I go back to Onshape. And I start, I be, let's see, um, I have to load that picture into, into here. So if I go down to plus and I can say import and I can import that picture. So import, I go find my downloads, downloads folder, acorn, there it is. And I can say open it up. Okay. You'll see this notification will come up and it says it's complete. And so once it's complete, you can close it down. And then you'll notice right here, I've got this acorn, okay? Now, if I wanna trace that, I have to put it into the sketch. So I start a sketch. I pick a plane to draw on, like the front plane. Okay, and I'll hit P to make my planes disappear. Hit N to square that up. And if I wanna bring this acorn picture in, um, I go to this little button right here, this little DXF. Um, if I pull that down, there's a hidden, hidden tool called insert image. You can click on that. And then there's my acorn because I loaded it into the picture. I click on acorn and this is a little bit confusing. Now it says right here, it gives me directions, draw an image rectangle. So basically I just draw how big I want that acorn to be and it's good to go, okay? If I really have no idea how big this acorn is, so probably a good idea would be to get my dimension tool. So click on the dimensions and I could kind of say like, okay, it's three inches, so let's say three. You can dimension the picture that way. All right, great. So now if I want to trace this, um, I can say finish the sketch. All right, so I've got that image on sketch number one. I've got my acorn. Then I can start sketch number two. So this is a case where you'll do two sketches and and I'll pick that same plane. Might have to hit P to make the planes come back on, hit the front plane, hit P again to turn the planes off. And then I can get my line tool. I, if I'm going to revolve this, I only need half this acorn. So I'm going to draw a line like right down the middle. Something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit escape and turn that tool off. And then to trace this on this shape here, I just need to trace half this outer shape. I'm going to use a tool called the spline tool. So this is the spline tool. It's right here. Um, and the spline tool is pretty powerful. I'm going to start on that middle line. And I'm just going to go click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. And pretty much just go all the way around, kind of trace this one click at a time. So I'm clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging. And trace this line. And I want to get all the way back to... Um, back to the center point. Okay, then hit escape. So I need I need a loop all the way around. It has to be a total loop all the way around. If I don't get that, then it's not going to work. And I could trim this out. I could trim up this this part right here. I could trim out this part here. Um, I might zoom in to make sure that goes all the way around. Looks like it goes all the way around. As long as it goes all the way around, you're in good shape. If it doesn't. Drop your Chromebook on the ground. Oh, that's not good either. Yeah, don't do that. Hopefully this video is still going. Um, okay, so then you can say finish the sketch and there it goes. Okay, I can tell that it's going because it's grayed. I can right click and say delete sketch one. I don't need that anymore. I just need my acorn shape. And then the final move would be revolve. So hit the revolve tool, click on the sketch. And then it says pick an axis. So I can pick an axis. Can revolve around there. And voila. I end up with an acorn. 
Now, that's probably not the cleanest acorn ever drawn in the history of acorns. Um, yeah, so I definitely probably want to go back and kind of touch this up. So go back, right, say edit the sketch, and I can kind of clear up, I can kind of get my points a little sharper. Like, for example, this point right here. Um, I'd probably want to pull this in a little bit, you know, you, so you can adjust these points um, and that sort of stuff. So that's the idea. Yeah, I don't know if I'm really satisfied with that acorn, but. <laughs> All right, enjoy. <laughs>